Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize that I'm recording on an iPad. It means the screen real estate's gonna look really weird, but you guys don't usually care about that. You care about the content. This video has quite a bit of content. So, the issue that happened is I wasn't able to convert the videos into Sony Vegas. Some error happened. So I just took screenshots, and I guess we're kinda gonna be stuck with those for now. I apologize, but a lot of awesome things happened while my screen recorder was going who knows what. So basically, I met Spencer in Global. There he is. Look how awesome is that. So there's Spence. Um, he's everyone goes nuts whenever he comes on. It's like it's like Ion on steroids in global. So that was pretty cool. We had a little chat, and then I lost connection. That was such an annoyance. But I managed to do one thing before leaving. Um, while I was chatting, um, I decided to go ahead and check out people's bases. And look at this. This is a person named Diana. Spencer left a comment in global saying, "Oh, nice." interesting clan you got there uh, Diana and <laughs> he puts a winky face and I'm like what so yeah what is so special about the clan I mean yeah the base is cool we're talking Town Hall 7 and Champions that's pretty epic but it gets cool look at this Diana is leader and she's a Town Hall 7 in Champions their clan is level 1 and it only consists of three people three very special people first of all we got freaking King D over here King D let that sink in. King D. That's such a great name. Co-leader. And finally, DC Comics seems pretty normal until you notice that he's exactly level 69. So, I wonder where she's going with this. Um, I think Spencer was in the global when I found Diana. I, I don't remember the story exact. But he, he literally commented, nice clan you got there, Diana. And Diana gives him a winky face. And I was like, what's so special about this clan? And then I took a look. King D. Ion D, that's my next day. If I ever make a second account, I'm naming it that. Okay, so next of all, I went to an awesome clan. That's a level 3 clan, and it was known as Scorpion. So, of course, KL joined left, and uh, I decided to troll a little bit. So, of course, this clan was interesting because they're one of the best war clans I've ever been to, good old Scorpion. There isn't much of a story besides the fact that I trolled. I basically just kept saying inappropriate stuff, and the best part is that they tolerated it. And while I thought my screen recorder was recording, it really wasn't. So, lost footage right there. Kind of sad. Ah, builders are sleeping. They're so sad. Okay, so that was that clan. I really wish I could tell more, but without actual video, I can't. Next clan I went to was Order of Clash. And this was a fascinating, really fascinating <laughs> clan. Once again, we trolled, and they actually tolerated what we did. So basically, me and KL, KL is a guy just putting that out there, and we decided to pretend that we are a couple, and we went to a variety of clans and waited for reactions as we fought. We said the most hilarious things. Um, so we entered, and I'm like, oh, look, can, I, can my girlfriend join? And instantly everyone's like, oh my god, yes, go ahead, accept, so on and so forth. So of course, he goes, <laughs> Ion is my husband for over 23 years, and we lost, really, um, no one repeat, it's been so long. Aw, congrats, guys, thanks, yep, XX, I'm 63. <laughs> so that's awkward, anyhow. So that conversation actually went on, and we actually got into a fake fight, and it was seriously entertaining for the other clan i'll give it that so keep looking i'm 63 <laughs> there you go there's the start of our fight <laughs> i will not agree with that statement uh -huh, ouch you always yep ouch i was cleaning his dishes and no he wants to watch tv poor dish okay, so the next clan we went to we decided to troll once again this time we trolled a little differently so the idea was that me and kale would pretend to be a couple and were married at first it was just gonna be a couple we went to a bunch of clans and i was like oh can i can my girlfriend join so on and so forth and everyone was like oh that's so cool and uh because that's like rare i guess i don't know but anyhow kale is a guy and after that we decide to be like an old married couple which was fascinating so one of the clans that had the best reaction is order of clash in this case i was actually on my ipad and it was super late at night so i didn't want to record my voice because uh, well, I don't know, my parents would kill me. So I decided to just go ahead and get screenshots. I know, tours are so tough. So of course, take a look at this. Starts off with, Ion has been my husband for 23 years, and KL basically just escalates this over and over, and Deej goes, aw, congrats, guys. Thanks. Yup. XX. Um, and then I go, I'm 63. So 
<laughs> That's fascinating. Alright, and so KL just decides to jumpstart the conversation by going, Ion's a fucking B word. Oh, I just swore. Oh well. Okay, so taking a look right here, Deej goes, uh huh, and ouch. You always be a word. <laughs> This is so not video appropriate. And then I go, ouch, I was cleaning his dishes, and no, he wants to watch TV. That, that's probably something I'd do. KL, if you were a girl and you, I don't know, I'd probably ask you to make me a sandwich and do the dishes, because who's going to do that? Meanwhile, I'd be making Clash videos, because that's what I do best. So, of course, he goes, bros, we are, KL is a guy, and do you think this is a joke? Haha, <laughs> hee hee, I'm a YouTuber. And so I finally do end up telling them, um, these are only parts of the conversation, obviously, it went on for a while. Anyhow, yeah, and I'm a YouTuber, and then we find out that Deej knew all along. <laughs> So that failed miserably. Okay, so after this, um, I join. An, uh, I keep staying at that clan for a little bit. So of course, I know Ion anyway. When do I start working? Parker too goes harp. Oh, it's like a Spanish soap opera. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So we actually find out that it wasn't just Deej. Deej was the only person replying. They were. Rest of the clan was just sitting there watching this go down as usual. And we are making troll videos, beautiful relationships, yes. And finally, <laughs> the face, he's like, oh, come on, I want it to be real. And I almost do it again. Actually, we did end up doing it again. <laughs> they actually wanted us to do it again in the same clan. <laughs> Take two, action. All right. Oh, is that 69 I see? I see you, Jackdaw. I see you. Okay, so the next clan we're touring with a variety of people is that they get rejected from a lot of clans that I don't get rejected from simply because my base just looks a little bit better than KL's, I guess, as KL. And uh, so this is one of the clans that KL was not able to enter, but I was able to enter and this was epic. Seriously epic. Because I joined mid-fight. It's like we just got done trolling. We were doing the most funniest thing. We were having a great time. And then I joined this clan thinking that KL's going to join as well and we're going to troll. But turns out that trolling is going on inside of the clan as we speak. I literally joined mid-fight, and I really wish I could record the moments as well. See, so much good footage lost. I can't believe this. Uh, but anyhow, so basically what was going down is they were trying to keep this uh, champion from staying, but one of the uh, co-leaders in the clan just kept kicking him and so on and so forth, and saying that no, he doesn't deserve to join, he's too low of a level, but come on. I'm like, okay, he's a low level, but he's in freaking champions. But what I didn't realize is how low of a level he was. Like, I would want this guy in my clan any day. That's right. He's a Town Hall 3 in Champion. I just happened to join a clan that has a Town Hall 3 in Champions. A level 50 freaking 5. Look at those archers. Um, I'll, I can't find the guy. I lost him after I went to this clan. But that was so epic. I had to take a screenshot of that. Look, there's even freaking baby Carl chilling right there. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, oh look, two baby Carls. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, of course, taking a look around. Um, he's got his awesome level 3, 4, 5, whatever level walls around. And this is the lowest person I've ever seen in Champions. Ever. I don't think it's impossible to get lower than this. I don't even think a Town Hall 2 can do it. It's simply impossible. But a Town Hall 3 in Champions, I know I'm ranting about this, but that's so epic, I just happened to join at the perfect moment. Unfortunately, Kaj did end up leaving. And there you go. So of course, Sabrina. Sabrina's another special case, this clan was just full of fascinating champions. Sabrina actually moved around for Kaz with a little bit, and it's special, because Sabrina also has a pretty special base. This is a Town Hall 7 in Champions. That's pretty epic. Collectors are pretty much full. This is nothing we haven't seen before. I mean, Town Hall 7, that's kind of like usual in Champions. Now people are trying to do that. But a Town Hall 3, my god. I don't even know what kind of motivation it takes to try to get Champions using level, what, level 2 archers? Alright, so of course, um, hi, Ion, what's happening? And this guy right here, Reagan, is who cost this clan two Champions. He ended up leaving and actually following Kaz and saying that I'm going to beat the S-word out of this guy. So I watched all that go down and I was like, wow, come on, can't you just play along? Um, I really wish that they had stayed and I was able to just chat with Kaz and it would be really awesome if I could get him to join Ion Clash or something. That's not really something I'd do, but that would be pretty cool. Next clan. This is the highest level clan I've been in. This is a level 4 clan known as LP3 Chiron. It was a pretty awesome clan to join. This was where Kaz went afterwards and I followed him. Only to get kicked within about 10 seconds. And well done, uh, one hive 2.0. I'm guessing uh, this clan is pretty much undefeated. Look at this, 87 wars won, but except one hive because no one can be one hive. Don't even try. 
All right. Oh, if I got matched up with one hive, can you imagine how awesome that would be? Stay here for a while. I actually meet someone that I've been uh, messaging, and I tried to get Hank to sort of merge Ion Clash in his clan because it'd be epic. I'm um, obviously he didn't do it. No one wants to merge clan these days, unless you're like a super, super, super low-level clan, so on and so forth. But they were in your clan, and I thought it'd be cool if they all joined Ion Clash, so on and so forth. Um, that's basically where this humongous story sort of fades out and goes into where I start going to the subs clan. So this is basically me actually visiting random clans and clash of clans. And I went to so much. It's funny what you can find in global from uh, people who are YouTubers to Spencer to Town Hall 3s and champions to arguments to drama. So much guys, so much. It, it was such a fun time. So fascinating to watch what happens in Clash and everything, all the drama that isn't in Ion Clash. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my screenshots. I apologize. I, I really can't believe that I lost all that footage, but hey, better than nothing, right? I'm just super happy that I got to share all these with you guys. Those are some crazy stories and Town Hall 3 and Champions is just epic. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is going to be me, logging off.